Hello everybody, welcome back. You know who it is. Don't gotta mention my name. So we're gonna buy some Senna's here. Try different comps? Yeah, that's what we're doing. You know I'm always trying to fish out contents. I always force builds that don't even work. So we're gonna try to fish for more content here. Built different one. Should we go build diff one? All right, let's do it. I do have like a random team right now anyways. So let's level up. Um, I think we can keep the Twitch. Yeah, uh, we already get a sizable amount of health and attack speed bonus anyways. So we're gonna drop the Twitch. Uh, we're gonna do Gwinsu, slam some items. So built diff is gonna get you 250 to 400 and 40 to 70 percent attack speed based on the stage so at the very late game you'll get 400 health and 700 uh not 700 70 percent attack speed for everybody so the great thing about build diff is that it does scale well into late game now um are legends available in the next set nope they removed the legend trait and orn anivia they're both gone oh i can't bring in diana Unless, yeah, we're gonna switch up to Zach. Uh, we don't want any traits active, keep that in mind. Let's sell Kiana. I'm gonna buy the Lux and bring her in because she's a two cost mage. So she's a little bit better than a one star Senna. If I had a two star Senna, I'd have kept, kept her, but not a one star Senna. And yeah, that's it. So basically with build diff, I always try to play the strongest champion possible, uh, slam items as soon as I can, and try to win as much as possible as well. That's how I normally like to build diff. You gotta try to win streak. We got two star setup. Okay, let's drop the Lux now. This set dragons not viable for build diff. Even last set, dragons do not work with build diff because they always have a trait active, right? The dragon trait is always active and Jade, whatever else they have, disables, right? Let's go pre-level to five. Disables built diff. Okay, so we have a chain mess right now. I have two Kianas. I might take that Kiana just to two star it. Yeah, I'm gonna take this two star Kiana. <clears throat> Last set, if you use two dragons, they don't cancel out the dragon trait they're and their own trait. Oh no, yeah, so if you have two dragons on the board, you'll cancel out. We have two star Zac and Kiana. We're gonna drop this Diana here. And again, I'll just bring in Yone. But yeah, they will cancel out the traits, but dragons are still not very good for built diff. Yeah. If you guys watch the good players using built diff in set 7, they don't use dragons. Even if you can cancel them out because you're wasting 4 unit slots. When you can put way more other champions that are going to be better for built diff. Now in this set, you definitely can't do dragons in built diff. Because now you can put multiple dragons on the board so you'll always have dragon trait active. Dragons do not cancel each other out anymore. We're going to sell the Zyra. I'm going to bring in 2 Zac. And we're gonna do Gwyn Swan Senna, cause that Zyro is just the one, so. And then we're gonna slam Sunfire Cape. I don't know about Infinity Edge. Yeah, I think we're gonna, mm, we're gonna chill out on the IE. Let me think about that one. And then this round. I could use the Sedge. Nah, you know what? Let's find a Lulio. No Sedge. I really like last stand, but it only procs when you're about to die. This thing is really strong, but uh, yeah, let's refresh this one. Cybernetic Implant 2 looks so bad. Actually, it's probably okay. Let's go Cybernetic Implant 2. Get some more health attack damage. Another 2 star Zac. Okay, let's go level 6. So we got two 2 star Zacs. And it's okay to do this. Uh, we'll give Glove to Yone. So I'm gonna give one to him. And we got some cybernetic implant bonus, so we get 150 extra health and 15 attack damage 
for everybody with an item. Let's drop the Yone. Actually, I'll just give this to Zach, uh, and then we'll just bring in a Zyra again. Do you think you can get built Diff too? That would be nice. I I can't I can't force it. So right now I could have got built Diff two, but they said no, and they gave me Cyber. I could even get built Diff three. The dream comp is built Diff one, built Diff two, built Diff three in the same game, and that's possible. You can get all of them in the same game. But if you're not as lucky, like as I was this game, you ain't gonna see it. Maybe we'll get built Diff 3. Okay, next item is gonna be, there's another Zack. Uh, I think I'm gonna take Negatron, I don't need another sword. I'm gonna buy the Graves. So what, what we're doing right now is getting ready to transition into a good built Diff comp. When you play built Diff, you wanna buy a lot of 4 cost chance. So anytime I see a four cost like Pantheon Graves, I'm just going to pick it up, ASAP, keep them on a bench. You could buy Ezreal or something to replace Senna if you decide on Graves. No, you can't use Graves and Ez together. They're both Tempest. If you play Graves and you play him with Ez or Kiana, you're going to have Tempest active, right? So we're level 7 now, and we can bring in Nomzy. No, uh, we're gonna actually uh, just bring in Twitch this round. So we got a spatula and a built diff, which is really bad. Yes, this is very bad because you never want to have traits active. The only trait you can have active out is like Guild, maybe Mystic. So, yeah, like you can't even build a Guild emblem. Right? That's an issue. Yeah, we want to put these items on somebody. Okay, last dogment, Cybernetic Uplink, Dragon Imperialist Ascension. Another Cybernetic thing. Let's go Cybernetic Uplink too. Alright. Alright, we got a Jace. Troll. I don't want to give anything to... Actually, Jace might have it. Yeah, with the spatula, there's like really nothing we can do. There's like literally nothing we can do with the spatula, except for Fawn. Fawn, I'm praying I can get it. But again, aside from Fawn, yeah, there's like nothing. What's the best in slot for Graves? Scale scoring Graves with Gwynswin Hodge. That's the best in slot. Any random item like a glove or something. Hey Redox, what items are bad to early slam in stage one? Um, I would say anything that doesn't do that, that doesn't help you a, uh, very much in the fights. Like I would say Dragon's Claw, for example. That doesn't that would probably not help you a lot in the fights, so it's a bad slam. So we have no spatula here, unfortunately. Uh, we have two Negatron Sword Glove. Let's go for the boat. So let's go level 8. We can't use Zoe, unless I'm forced to use Zoe. You can still play, like, yeah, you can still play champs like this if you have to, but... Uh, prefer not to. So once again, we're like kind of mainly just looking for four costs, just like any four costs we can get our hands on. Just, just buy, literally buy all the four costs. Okay. So, um, yeah, we got to do some cleaning up in this team. I just realized this is so annoying, actually. Like the fact that they brought the rage wing down from it used to be three six nine, now it's two four six. So you literally cannot play Hecarim and Zaya together. Normally, when you play this comp, people would put Zaya and Hecarim together, but now you can't. It seems like I can't play Hecarim and Zaya together anymore, which is so sad. Because normally that's the way I would do this. Okay, so we're gonna clean up this build. Can't even put Rakan here. Very frustrating. 
Very frustrating. So can I even put... Can I even put Zaya? Like, as soon as I put Zaya here, we're losing bonuses. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna do Graves. Um, maybe I could drop Hecarim? This is turning into a Graves carry. Well, I like Hecarim because he's kind of like a front line, right? <sighs> okay, give me a spat, please. Earth's Angel Staff. Uh, let's refresh this. Rascal's Glove, that's good. So no spat, but I gotta take Rascal's. Yeah, we only have one heck. Mm. I'll probably have to drop. Okay, I have to drop Twitch as well. I have to drop Heck. I I can just put in more guild. Up, oh, actually, I think Terra is completely fine. Yeah, okay. Let's sell this Graves for Terra. Yeah, Terra should be fine. You can have like one dragon. All right, here we go. So Rascal's Globe. Let's go. GS is always good. Um, with the spat. Spat is so useless this game. There's nothing I can do with it. Um. Zaya, please. Thank you. Let's build Hodge. I'll go Megatron and Pan. I think that's what I'll do. I don't need a Chalice. None of these guys, I think, really scale that well with Chalice. I have mainly physical damage champs. Like, everybody's AD basically in this comp. Yeah, this is an AD comp. Literally. Only Jace is doing magic. So my Zaya is actually pretty tanky here. She's gonna get so much armor and MR, some healing. All right, this comp's pretty dope. The Zaya raves Harry with Terra tank. I like this build. Good. Next item is gonna be probably Bard. Actually, I'm gonna take this. I have a plan with this Bard. I think we actually stabilized. Okay, so we got a bard, right? What I'm gonna do is we're gonna drop the Jace or Sedge. Yeah, actually, it's probably dropping the Sedge. Uh, we're gonna remove that, give this to Terra. So we got a Radiant a Locket that's gonna shield basically everybody except for Panth. All right, this guy's team looks good, but this team is actually really good, but I think I can beat this. Oh god, Terra got eaten by the Nunu. Oh yeah, this is easy. Yo, he got wrecked. Ow. Loving that. Oh my god, wait. Wow, really? Deja is broken? Who start pants? Good. So we got a two-star Panth, that's gonna be good. Didn't expect that, I know. I actually was beating him, but his Deja just killed everybody. He did like a 1v5 last round. I can beat this one. Yeah, easy. Nice. All right, let's see what we get. We got Infinity Edge. We're, we can't put in Hecarim, sadly. Sad for C noises. We got Infinity Edge. Okay. Alright, let me hammer the IE. No ho ho. 
Okay, the, so I was going to do IE on Neela, but the reason why I hammered it is because, uh... Oh my god, he's immune to CC. Is because I wanted to give something to Bard. Because Bard could use the Cybers. Bard doesn't have Cyber right now. Wait, this guy's, uh, Olaf is actually broken. He has double CB, so he has healing, and then he's immune to CC. Uh, you can't reforge the spat, you guys. You can? Are you sure? I was told you can't reforge spats. Only Pandora's items you can't, okay? Alright, well, I'll try it out next time. You know, Titans is a good item anyways. We're, we're chilling. Alright, I'm gonna go level 9 now. We're gonna bring in Sedge. Alright, we go. Next guy has some kind of Assassin Lagoon thing going on. So my biggest problem is the Olaf guy. Olaf 3 is my biggest problem. I think I can beat this guy. Uh, nope. I can't beat this guy? Wait, what the hell? No, no, I got him. Yeah, yeah. Oh! Pantheon. I'm telling you, my Pantheon is good. Yeah, our biggest problem is this guy. This guy has preparation, 3-star Olaf with... You cannot... Uh, I think I have to take the Zephyr. I think I have to take this. Alright. 2-star Terra, okay. Maybe this will make a diff? So this Bard now does have Cyber. Okay, here we go. I get him. No, of course he just moves. Yeah, he's, he's he knows what I'm doing. He knows I have a Zephyr. So, I can't CC that Olaf. This is the biggest problem. I can't crowd control him no matter what. I have to kill him, but fail again. Yeah, we're both losing to this guy. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Okay. I got a Zephyr on a Zeri. Mila? Mila? Whatever her name is. Kiana? Uh, I think it can be this guy. This guy is no problem. Yeah, this guy is no problem for me. I think he's gonna die to Yola. Uh, he's almost dead. He's at 1 health. So I might get 4th. Not him. No, I mean 3rd. I might get 3rd. So, uh, yeah. Well, if, I, if we get 2nd place with this comp, you know, I'm not really complaining. Uh, too bad we can't get a 1st. It seems like Olaf is really strong. I've seen Olaf 3's getting multiple firsts in set 7.5. So it looks like Olaf is pretty good. Uh, Alright, we got 2 star Jace. You know, I'll probably have to sell this part. Who's gonna get Zephyr? Oh crap. I'm so dumb. I didn't use it. Uh, I still beat him. Wait. Oh my god, that's a Zephyrus. Okay, Wokaj business. Uh, Dirty Korean, yo, thank you for the prime. That was my bad. 